Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you? And thank you so much for considering and pushing the little play button. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Oh my gosh. It's getting so close to 2019. Can you believe it? Because I can't. I'm still thinking we're like maybe in August somewhere. <sighs> well, today we'll be doing our New Year's makeup. Yes. And if you're wondering about my little outfit, you know, the little sleeves, it comes off the shoulder and, you know, you do have to wear a strapless bra, you know happens. I did buy this at the store Dress Lily. I'll also put their link down in the description below just in case you were wondering. These are very cute. They're very nice. Outfits very soft and comfortable. The only thing I do have to say about them is that you cannot put them in a washer. You're gonna have to hand wash. I uh, know I hate doing that too but just so you know. So like I said we're doing a nice sexy smoky glittery New Year's look. So I hope you enjoy it and remember consider subscribing in case you haven't already. Also remember push the little notification bell. I love my little music and the little happy face that the bell does. I know. I know right? Also in case you didn't know please also consider following me on all of my social medias at Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Snapchat. And they all have the exact same handles. That way it's easy for you to find me at Inid Blue Singer, as well as my IMDb page, Inid Lopez. And if you're wondering why I call myself Inid Blue Singer, it's because Inid's my first name. Blue is my favorite color. And it so happens I'm a blues and jazz singer. So I will have music for you and news and feeds and up in the excitement and photo shoots <laughs> uh, in 2019 so not just my year your year as well I'm, I'm just letting you know I'm you know letting you know it's our year so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and this is the look that we're gonna create today and for no further ado I'll see you in just a second and just uh follow me to the tutorial well, welcome. Now, as I stated in the intro, this is our New Year's makeup look. Now, um, as I also stated, I am using a lot, and I do mean multiple palettes, but no worries. If you have these palettes, fine. If not, just look into your collection and see what colors that's close to these, because a brown is a brown. A, a peach is going to be a peach, you know? So, but I will list all the palettes and everything I have on my eyes down in the description below. Now, the way today is going to work, because there is quite a bit of work to do on the eyes, we'll be doing the top eyes, and then, I, and then I'm step away, finish the rest of my face, come back. I will be doing some stuff underneath the eye, and putting on lipstick, and we'll be done. That way you know what nice, sexy, seductive, dark, mysterious New Year's Eve look for 2018. Oh good lord, we're about to be 2019 soon. That means birthdays and we age. <laughs> okay, so for right now, I'm, this is as close as I can put you without cutting my head or anything, so I do apologize. So the first thing we're gonna do, just like any look, whether it's neutral or colorful look, is prime the eyes. My favorite primer is the Urban Decay Potion. I'll put the picture right here, but I don't currently use that. So, like I said, use what you have. At the current moment, I'll be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Like I said, use what you have, multiple purposes, make it work, make it work. So, I'm gonna put this all over the eyes. And then I'm gonna use my Juno sponge slash beauty blender and put it all over. If you are new to my channel or if you haven't had a chance to see it and you're wondering about the sponge, I did do a video about the sponge, if it works or not and how to wash it. Is these two videos over here. I'll also link it down in the description below, just in case you haven't seen it. Then I'm going to be using this palette that came in the last boxy charm. I'll also link that video down in the description below in case you haven't seen it. It's the Ace Butte Gandos palette. It came into that boxy charm. And I'll be using the shade. Ooh, and I'll be using the shade Choli. There's this one right here. I'm going to put it all over the lid. That way I can set the concealer. I'll be using a Sigma E40. Put it right here and putting it all over the lid. Now 
they're nice and covered and powdered up. We're gonna go into another palette. Like I said, today is going to be a video full of palettes. If you have these palettes, great. And since it is December, a lot of sales are going on, so if you find them, that's fine. If not, no worries. Just look into your collection and see what colors you have that are similar to this. Like in all reality, the only difference with palettes is just the formula and texture to see what you like and what you don't like to be in all honest. Other than that, a lot of the colors are the same. So. The next palette I'm going to pick up is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I know, I shouldn't be showing this palette so much. I know, and it's a pressed pigment. But, I love this palette. I know you can still find it on Hotlo eBay perhaps, but if you can't, that's fine. I hope Urban Decay brings this back out or makes another version of this because I would definitely be a client. But, the one that's close to this and some of the colors are pressed pigments, kind of like this, is from James Charles. He collaborated with Morphe. Here's the palette over here. So I know you can get it on the Morphe site. You can go to Ulta and get it. But if it's good or not, I can't tell you because I haven't used it. In case you were looking for pressed eyeshadows, that's one that I could tell you about. And if you have tried it and you have ideas and comments, whether it's positive or negative, let me know, comment below. But I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using the same Sigma E40 and I'm gonna go into the shade Savage, which is this hot, hot pink. I know. I'm one of the few people that are not scared to go into color. And I didn't think I would ever be a color person. What are you? <laughs> and I'm gonna put this all over the crease. pink crease transition going on I know but trust the process it's gonna be a very nice New Year's look just just trust it's gonna be smoky in a minute even though it's starting off very bright it's actually gonna be very smoky trust and believe trust and believe for now <laughs> I'm done with their urban decay I will be coming back to this just so you know to the Tarte Holiday Palette. Now this came out last year. So if you have this palette, awesome. If you don't, I know Tarte came out with some new Tarte Holidays palette this year and I think they look a little bit more like a notebook. I'll post it over here. Or if you have these shades individually, then hey, that works. If not, just see what colors are close to this. So for this, I'm gonna be using a Sigma E25, just something nice and flat. And the first color, I'm gonna touch my brush is Deco. It's this color over here, this nice exotic little pink over here. I'm also going to go to the one next to it, this other. It's a touch darker of a pink that's called Surreal. Tap, tap, tap because <laughs> they're blushes, but you know. But I do have a video about if you don't have any eyeshadows, but you have a bunch of blushes, how to use them as eyeshadows. This video over here, I'll also link it down in the description below just in case you haven't seen it. It may give you some ideas. So you're going to use this and you're going to put it all over the crease again. But you're going to put it a little bit lower, like right here. This section right here. You're not going to cover the Savage color, the bright pink that you have. You're just going to put it underneath. That way it looks like a two-tone color. As so. right now you're telling me oh I don't really see that much of a difference very little if that it's okay we're gonna keep going we have that as a base just in the crease but not as high as that hot pink I'm gonna go just one shade above here on mod continue on on this section of the palette which are a little bit more darker mauve type of shades montage and ironic and then put it all over the bottom crease like you did the last two colors. Okay, now as you can tell, it's just a touch darker than the hot pink, just a touch, but not by much, but that's how you're gonna build dimension, just so you know, dimension. And then, we're done with the, with the Tarte Holiday Palette. Then we're gonna go back into the Ace Boutte. And if I'm betraying the name, I'm so sorry. That's just, it just, that's what it looks like. Grandos Palette. And I'm gonna use the same brush, the E25. 
and I'm gonna use this color named Glove. That kind of peachy, light peachy color, skin light color, with like maybe a touch of red, and just put it right at the lower crease, just like you did with the other four colors. Remember, you're building dimension. <laughs> Now you guys are probably telling me, now I see a difference. See what that clove color did? It actually gave you more of a difference where you're like, mm. Now you're probably thinking those other five, six different shades that we put in the eyes. Now you see how they popped up? Mm? You see how they just came, bam! They give you that bam effect? Yeah. You see now, don't you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, trust the process. Trust the process. And then with this palette, we're done. And at least for the moment, we're done. And then we're gonna use a Sigma F70, it's the concealer brush. And you're gonna go back with the concealer that you used previously, and that's if you use concealer to prime the eyes, and if you didn't, then just pick up a concealer. <laughs> and then you're gonna put it all over the brush, as so. And then put this all over the lid. Now, the purpose of this, we're not doing a cut crease or anything like this, because you will actually do do this when you do cut creases. I do have makeup tutorials on how to do cut creases. I'll give you some examples down in the description below, just so you know. But this you're gonna put over, all over the lid because the colors we're gonna put on, if you have a color that's bright or you want them brighter or you wanna give them more of a pow, and since this is New Year, so we need pow, pow, pow on everything, this helps the situation. So you put this all over the lid. Okay, now that that is done, even though I did it on both the eyes, technically that's my boo-boo, because it's better to do it one eye at a time, but you know, things happen. When you're in a groove, you just keep going, you know? Now remember what I said, I'm not completely done yet. I will go back to the Urban Decay palette, and I will take a MAC 242, and I'm gonna go into Gonzo, this nice, bright, blue, shimmery, yes! So I'm gonna go into Gonzo, and I'm gonna put this all over the lid, just exactly where we put in the concealer. And that's all we're gonna use, like I said, for now, I'm sure you know it, can I hear it again? For now, this palette. Now, right now it looks very harsh, very rough. So, what I'm going to do is go back into the original E40 that we have. Don't add any additional product. Because even here, if you see it, the concealer went up a little bit. Where it should have. And I'm just going to blend everything in. That way it won't look so harsh and messy. <laughs> And then you go back with your Sigma E25 where the clove color is in there. You don't need to add additional product, but if you feel like you need to, feel free and you can. And put this all over that crease. That way that can blend that color back onto your eyes. Okay, then we're going to go to our next palette. <laughs> we're going to use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter Foiled Deliciousness palette here. Now I have used this palette before. I even gave a little tutorial on it and it was the get ready with me going off to the studio. In case you haven't seen it, I'll also link that down in the description below. And basically, final judgment on this palette, it is beautiful. It actually lasts the whole day, whether it's on the eyes or your cheeks, because we'll be, we will be using some of this on our cheeks, believe me. And it is absolutely gorgeous. The only negative I got to say is that all these colors just not going to look good for a lot of skin tones. If you're my skin tone or lighter, a lot of the browns, even this blues, this orange, it's not gonna look good as a highlight or even this one. Yeah, no, you better leave it as a eyeshadow. Now, if you're a deeper complexion, all of this is gonna work beautifully. You have the advantage. If you're lighter, not really. <laughs> It's okay. Then you're gonna continue using the same brush except where you put Gonzo from the Urban Decay. You just flip the brush over. And we're gonna be using this blue purplish color. It is in chills. And put it all over the lid exactly where you put on that color. Cause like I said, it's gonna make the color nice and pop and go BAM! It's New Year's. Now, do you guys see a difference between this blue that we added to Fenty in this one. 
Like I said, if you don't have this palette, no problem. As long as you have like a nice purplish blue glitter, you'll be fine. And if you just, you're not a glitter, shiny type of person, I get it. You're more into matte, just skip the step. And then go back with the A25, no additional product, just to blend it in. Because as you can tell, we have a little bit of harshness there. And we want to try to look nice and smooth. Now we're off to the next part, which I agree this next part is a bit excessive. I agree, but you know, New Year's, why not go off glittery, right? So I'll be using the Stila. I love a lot of these colors in this look. Trust me, it will be worth it. Believe me. Then I'll be using the Stila into the blue on the outer lid. Now, if you don't have this shade, that's fine. If you do have Stila, but you have other shades, eh, put it on top. It's just makeup. If you don't like it, you can always just wipe it off. Remember, makeup has no rules. Just uh, creativity. So, we're going to take this and put it in the outer corner. And one of the reasons I love this is because it's blue and purple and it's my two favorite colors. So, yeah. <laughs> notice depends on your eye shape if you have hooded eyes or whatever put this a little bit more down to what you think even with me I don't you see how it transfers a little bit more up so just go back with the E25 which I gotta do this anyway to blend but to finish blending and to help that shadow out and plus we're gonna put some other shadows on top of there I know you're probably looking at me like and then we're done with the steel and then we're gonna do something really fun I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose glitter and party and this is the only glitter i own or have whatsoever and you know it of course it's the bloom purple thing that's just what i like if you have other shades that's fine this is a glitter that i like because look it has a stopper so things are not going to go like everywhere best way to put this on is that i have the Too Faced shadow insurance glitter glue and so what i do is i put some on my hand as so put a little bit of the glitter on top I don't know if you're able to see how much I put in I'm trying not to drop it and then I say go back and use the concealer that you used mix it in with that brush see like the parts you didn't put the steel at in the inner end of the eyeshadow and just pat gently. This is not very hard glitter, just pat gently. And then remember to put your scepter back and put it back, which I haven't like gotten away with the packaging. It is so cute. <laughs> and then we're gonna let that dry for a second. Then we're gonna go straight into the brow. My favorite, the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie in Auburn. First and foremost, we gotta groom our brows and then we go in and fill everything in. And then we're gonna work on a brow bone. I'm gonna go back into Ace Beauty. And I'm actually gonna use the shade Jasmine. This just for you can see the color this little like goldish tat white color i'm going to be using the lexi 131 the glitter makes it kind of hard to see you know i love the glitter but you can't see the number very well especially since the letter is just gold as well i would have preferred if they would have like marked it in black but we're going to put this all over the brow bone gonna go back to our E40 and just blend the top in that way the brow bone color can actually mesh and soften the look and we're not completely done yet I know y'all gonna kill me okay and then in the waterline if you have a white or a cream color that works really well at the current moment the one I use I usually use the Marc Jacobs and the buff that's out <laughs> so no wait for me so I will be using this color it's still Marc Jacobs and ODYC just for we can have a distinction on the eyes all right and as you can tell 
little it's nice and bright and it separates the eyes and you can actually see the eyes and if you have hazel eyes kind of like how I do it really brings them out and now we're gonna go back to the eyes with another palette y'all probably looking at me like <laughs> we're gonna go into the Too Faced chocolate gold palette which is one of my favorite palettes from Too Faced and I'll be using another Sigma E25 and we're gonna be using two colors we're gonna be using this color this glittery brownish color that's called hula for a dollar and this black one is called decadent so we're gonna use this one first and the way we're gonna do it is that we're gonna put it in the outer corner and all halfway through the crease as so decadent which is that which is this black right over here and it has a little bit of shimmer but not so much but it's okay we got the hula for a dollar at first and just put it on top of what you just did nice the nice black smoky outer corner then we're gonna curl our lashes because for the top part of our eyes we are done the top part remember we still have to do the bottom <laughs> So let's curl our lashes. The It Cosmetics Mascara Superhero. And then I'm going to use another mascara. It is not my favorite. A lot of people love this mascara. I personally don't. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise and uh, from l'oreal it's just pigmented but it really doesn't do very much at least for my lashes but i have it so you know i might as well use it up right but it won't be a repurchase <laughs> So right now, I'm going to clean up, step away, finish the rest of my face, and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes and our lips. See you in just a sec. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm back! Now, I've already put on my foundation, my bronzer, my blush, even though I used to not be a blush girl, but I am now. Mm. Time, thing changes, you know. And we're going to go straight into the under eye. Now, if you guys are wondering, if you're done, why does your eye look like they're biggie? <laughs> actually because the next couple of steps that we're gonna do on our under eye I know the eyeshadows can create a mess yes they can so this is kind of like my little protection if you do have eyeshadow shields you can do that as well as you guys know I usually do my eyes first but when it comes to the under eye and everything else well you know and no you're not imagining I am also using lashes I'm using the Nikki Phillips lashes I'll put it right here you can find those on Walgreens because I'm usually very picky about my lashes especially since if you see my channel, I don't use lashes unless I'm going out. Hence, New Year's, and especially since we're using such a bold look, our lashes are gone. Unless you have a very, very pigmented, like, mascara, and your lashes can go beep without it. If you found one, let me know. Comment below, and I'll go check it out. So, because I really haven't found one yet. I like the superhero, but not with this boldness. It just don't work, as you saw in the video earlier, and I haven't used it, so... Yes, I do have lashes on. We're gonna use the Ace Beauty Grandest Palette. I know we're back again. We're going back in a circle. Mm -hmm. And I do apologize if this video is long. We're almost done. I promise. <laughs> then we're gonna use a Sigma pencil brush and E30, I believe. Yep, an E30. And we're gonna go into the first shade and we're gonna go into Clove again. And we're going to put it all underneath the under eye. Then I can truly say we are officially done with this palette for the rest of the video. <laughs> and then you can stop here if you like, but for me, it's New Year's. We're going out. We want nice and smoky and dark. I'm going to go back into the Too Faced Gold palette. I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm going to go back into Hula for a dollar. No idea what that means. Just 
Yeah, no clue what that means. And I'm gonna put it all underneath the lash line. Now from here, you can leave it alone if you like, but for me, it's not enough. So I'm gonna go into Decadent, this black. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to flash you. This black, use the same brush, and I'm gonna put it on top of that just exactly as we did from the top. And then for the inner corner, I'm done with this palette officially. Yes, I know, you're popular. <laughs> then we're gonna go into the Kat Von D Holographic, which we both know it's lies, palette. I'm gonna go into this violet color, the middle shade, and this is gonna go in the inner corners. And then we're gonna go back into the Fenty, go back into it and go into this purple shade, which is called Scandalous and put it on top of the violet from the Kat Von D. And I'm using a separate brush just to blend everything in. And then I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and I'm gonna put it for the bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna take the Bake Off and if you're wondering what kind of powder I use, I used the Givenchy Prism Libri in One Muslim Pastel. This can also be used as a color corrector, but it's just the powder I had at the moment. But you see, if you bake and you know your shadows are gonna be everywhere, how it just catches them and it's blown away and it doesn't ruin your foundation. And now we're gonna add highlight. We're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Highlight. And I'm gonna mix some colors around. The first color I'm gonna use is this white. And it's in the shade Zub Zero, and I'm gonna put it all over the cheeks. And then I'm gonna use this middle shade that's called Stone Cold. And put it right on top of the other one. And I usually like using a Stone Cold and put it all over my lips. Well, for me, I use a Kabuki brush, a flat brush, to blend everything right in. Now that we're all nice and highlighty, yes, we're blinding the haters. <laughs> we're gonna go straight into lips. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of a mixture. I will be using the Anastasia and Estella. And I'm going to put it all over my lips. And then I will use what you guys, I know I haven't seen this in a long time. And I did do a video about it. And the swatches of the colors. I'll also link that video down in the description below. I did it last year. And it's the Ciate Glitter Flip in Candy. Since we're very bold and dark and smoky up here, we want to try to lessen the bottom, you know? We don't want to completely scare people. Now for this, I'm going to go ahead and wait about two minutes. And then I'm going to push my lips together and you're going to see the magic. So see you in about two minutes. Okay, two minutes is up and I'm going to show you the magic. You guys see the glitter? It's very soft and gentle. It's not like, bam, look at my lips, they're glittery. Now, if you do want to glitter up your lips, you can use kind of like that glitter that we use on our eyes from the Anastasia. Take some glitter glue and you can put it on your lips if you like, or if you have a shadow, you can put it on top as well. But for me, I'm going to tone it down just a bit because of the, you know, look that we're going for. Then I'm going to use the Urban Decay Setting Spray. It's in cherry, by the way, and I do like this. And at first it does smell like alcohol, <laughs> but after a while, the scent kind of goes away and you don't smell it anymore. And that, my dears, is the end of the video. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know there was a lot of palettes, but remember, look in your collection and see what colors match these. And if you do have my palettes, eh, yes, and that's what you bought them for, right? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. And in case I haven't said this enough, thank you so much. 
so much for watching my videos, pushing the play button. I really, really appreciate it. It's It's been amazing. And then 2019 is going to be here in just a few days. <laughs> 2019, I'm telling you. So hopefully it, it'll things will be just all on the up and up, you know? So I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, I hope you enjoyed my video. I really appreciate it. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, comment below. I would really appreciate it. And I want to get to know you just, you know, because you're awesome. I mean, that, that's my only reason. You're just awesome. And also just a little quick reminder, consider subscribing and take a moment to push the little notification bell that as well because YouTube has a nasty little habit of not letting you know when my videos are up and loaded and in case you're unsure I do load every Monday and Friday I know sad this is gonna be my last video of 2018 and I will see you in 2019 with more videos reviews makeup tutorials and of course music and hopefully my music will be up on iTunes Spotify Raspberry everything all the information I'll be posting it soon. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And remember, be kind, be gentle, be careful, be safe. I miss you. And remember, I love you. Have a wonderful and the blessed New Year's. And I'll see you in 2019.